Penguin Random House revokes Harry's new memoir after Harry caught red-handed lying all in new book. Harry, the prince who was so eager to spill the royal tea that he practically knocked over the whole tea set, has run out of things to say. It's like watching a car crash in slow motion except the car is made of lies and the crash is Harry's credibility going up in flames. But wait, it gets better. Apparently the royal family, those stuffy old codgers that Harry was so keen to escape from, have outsmarted him. They've gone and done the unthinkable. They shut up. That's right, they zip their royal lips together, tighter than the Queen's handbag. They know that anything they say could end up in Harry's next book, so they've decided to give him the royal silent treatment. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm picturing King Charles sitting in Buckingham Palace, sipping his organic tea and chuckling to himself. Well played, old boy. He's probably saying, well played indeed. But here's where it gets really juicy. Since Harry's been out of the royal loop, living it up in sunny California with Meghan, he's missed out on all the royal drama. And boy, has there been drama. We're talking about King Charles's coronation, his cancer diagnosis, Kate's health scare, Princess Anne's head injury. It's been like a royal episode of ER over there. And where's Harry during all of this? Probably working on his tan and trying to remember which fork to use at dinner. He's so out of touch with the royal goings on that he might as well be living on Mars. Heck, even the CIA probably knows more about what's happening in the palace than Harry does at this point. So now Harry and his publishers are scrambling. They're probably turning Frogmore Cottage upside down, looking for any scrap of scandal that they may have missed. Did we mention the time that the Queen gave me a funny look? Harry's probably saying. Or how about when Charles bought the wrong brand of organic biscuits? That's got to be worth a chapter, right? But here's the thing, folks. The well has run dry, the goose that laid the golden eggs of royal gossip has swum its last lap in the coop. Harry's burnt through all of his royal dirt faster than Meghan can say Archwell. But let's not forget the real victims in all of this, the poor unsuspecting readers who shelled out their hard-earned cash for spare, thinking they were getting the inside scoop on royal life. Turns out they may have gotten more truth from reading the Princess Diaries. But whatever they do, one thing's for sure the royal family won't be losing any sleep over it. They've weathered worse storms than Hurricane Harry. Heck, they've probably already replaced this photo in the family album with a picture of a corgi. So there you have it folks, the tale of the prince who thought he could pull a fast one on the monarchy only to find out that the house always wins. And in this case, the house is a palace, and it's got about a thousand years of practice in dealing with family drama. It's a cautionary tale, really, a reminder that no matter how fancy your title, how posh your accent, or how many zeros are in your bank account, you can't outrun the truth. Or in Harry's case, you can't outrun the fact that you've run out of truths to tell. So to Harry and Meghan, I say this, maybe it's time to hang up the tell-all hat. Maybe it's time to focus on that chicken coop that you're so proud of. Because let's face it, at this point, you've got a better chance of getting eggs out of those chickens than getting any more scandalous revelations out of the royal family. And to Penguin Random House, I say better look next time. Maybe stick to publishing actual fiction. At least then, when the stories turn out to be made up, you can say it was intentional. As for the rest of us, well, we'll just have to find our royal gossip fix elsewhere. Maybe it's time to start paying attention to some other royal families. I hear the Swedish royals are pretty interesting. Or, hey, maybe we could all pick up a hobby, learn to knit perhaps. I hear that it's very relaxing. Because at the end of the day, this whole saga is a reminder that even the most glamorous lives, the most fairy tale stories, can turn out to be, well, a bit of a bedtime story, full of hot air and not really going anywhere.